Okay, so what is up, guys? I'm the Laser Skater, and um, today I'm going to be doing a trick tip on pop shovels. So, if you didn't check out my how to ollie slash fakey ollie uh, tutorial video, I suggest you look at that. It's very detailed, and it's the best way because I probably, when I'm skating and trying to learn a new trick, I probably have run into the most problems out of any skater so and then I solve them so if you have a lot of problems or if you have any problems then you should just uh, go to that video and so here we are to pop shove it this is I'm gonna teach you how to shove it I'm gonna teach you how to shove it in this one pop shove is gonna come later I'm gonna teach you how to fake shove it and just shove so uh, I know this is a Saturday, but I was really, really busy, and, um, but I'm gonna try, still try my best to get the How to Hump Days to get this, to try, because Wednesday is, I probably think Wednesday is the worst one, because I'm busiest on that day, most, uh, so, uh, yeah, so here's a trick tip, probably gonna move it to Saturday, have more time, or some, someday else, so, uh, here it is. How the pop show. Alright, so the first thing you want to know before trying this trick, basically to be comfortable on your board. You'll, you'll notice that a lot of the first few tricks that I teach you are not going to require a lot of any tricks, just skill of riding the board and stuff like that. So, the first thing that you should always know is the foot positioning. So, the foot positioning that I use for my back foot about right there. Not my I don't like to have my toes over the fit, uh, over the uh, tail because it just feels weird. And I like to and you get more pop if you have it more close to the center of the board, center of the tail. Sorry. So I put it about right there. So I get a nice good scoop and a nice good pop. Front foot. I a lot of people like to put it like up up here. I like to have it hanging off, like maybe this and like that, like that, because that that's what I'm most comfortable with, and it balances out, it balances out the board. So that way, when you flip, uh, you scoop the board, it doesn't flip at all. It balances it out. It, it just does a nice clean shove it without any flips. So I put my back foot or my front foot about right here. So, main thing that you're going to want to do is, so what you want to do is, so once you have your foot positioning, what you're most comfortable with, this is how I, how I pop shove it, see my, my front foot at an angle, hanging off the board. And my back foot, not too much off the board, not too much on the middle, just the center right there, or just in the middle between those two. You're gonna wanna, I'm gonna just take my front foot off. You're gonna wanna, uh, not necessarily pop, but just kinda roll your back foot back, just like that. So, you just wanna get that and just scoop it like that. And then once the board comes around, it won't go up like this. It'll probably just go sideways. You want to, you're gonna want to watch it and just catch it uh, with van bolts. Roll away. I know it's, it seems simple as that, but it's not that simple. So, so I'm gonna, so now you know what the back foot does the whole time. I'm gonna teach you what you do with the front foot. The front foot is pretty crucial. Uh, it's what, so basically when you're scooping the board, when you scoop it, you just want to lift up your front foot. Don't do anything, don't like, take it out of the way, don't kick it out of the way, or just go forward. You just want to lift it up. And so, um, and so when you lift it up, it's easier to catch it. If you're going back here, then you're going to have to come a long way to catch it. So, just lift it up when you're scooping, and when you see that board, Come around, and you have your lifted front foot. You gotta catch the bolts. 
it's easy to catch because mine are red, so I know I can see the bolts easily. So when you're coming around, it's going to be your raise, catch it with your front foot, stomp down, and eventually in that process of stomping down, your back foot would follow, and you'll land clean, roll away, with the pretty much ba most basic trick. Some problems you can run into uh, is uh, what the most problem I had was uh, was when I would shove it and I would land only with my front foot. Now I'll give you an example. I'll do this and I'll keep on doing that and I keep on doing that. But that's the worst thing you could do because if you if you're scared of that, if you're putting that on your back foot, it just means that. You're not used to landing a trick like that, and you're, it's kind of freaky. It's, it's, it freaks you out. So I'm going to teach you how to solve that. So the best way I did it was I would land on my front, and I will shove it and do it on the back. Like, I would just, so I would shove it and land with my front foot on it. Then I would get back on, shove it, do shove it, and land with my back foot on. So, and so it was a weird feeling having both my feet on the board. So like I would do that until I was comfortable enough and then when I finally did it, I just jumped, shoved it, and then landed bolts. So that's pretty much one of, my, one of the problems that, and how I fix it. Uh, another problem that you can have, uh, underspinning and overspinning. Uh, underspinning, you could basically put your toes over uh, the tail a little bit more, or just twist your body a little, like twist it into like a 180, so like if you can see right here, you kind of like, like just twist, but then you don't twist, you don't really go like that, you just kind of shove it, and that, that hopefully will uh, get it spinning faster, and if you're overspinning, just put it more towards the center, so uh, yeah, those are the, that's the trick tip for the pop shove it, or the shove it, and then so now I'm going to teach you how to fake each other. Basically, if you, if you don't know what fakey is, just, and I explained it in my last video, it's basically rolling backwards. So, let's say if you're regular, you're pushing, like that, you're going, and you jump on, it's just basically going this way. I'm regular, so I would, it's like rolling goofy. If you're goofy, you would roll regular. If you're regular, you roll goofy. And then basically, you're just rolling backwards and you do the shove it. Uh, so, for the fakie shove it, it's probably the easiest one to do moving. I, I remember having some hard times trying to shove it moving. But the easy one is the fakie shove it. It's, you don't have to, the main thing that you have to notice is you have to shove it 10 times less than you would for a regular shove it. What I mean by that, you have to sh you don't have to shove it super hard towards you get it 180. You barely have to do it. So that's pretty much the fake shove it and the pop shove it. I mean, sorry, I keep on saying that shove it. So um, yeah, comment on what you have next, or comment your problems, and hope you enjoyed.